You're listening to Media Savvy Moms with Melody and Marilyn, a podcast by Parents Aware, your go to for information on how to talk to kids and teens about pornography and healthy sexuality. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Media Savvy Moms. Today, we are doing a Dear Savvy show, which is one of our short episodes where we answer a question from one of our listeners. If you'd like to submit a question, please send it to admin at parentsaware.info, or you can send a question in on any one of our social media platforms. We would love to hear from you. So today, our question is, Dear Savvy, what do I do if my kids are gaming all night? That's right. Now, I'm going to give you a little background. It's interesting that this question actually came to us from a gaming family, not, you know, the parent who's like, I don't get it. My kid is gaming. I can't figure them out. We just don't relate. They Mm -hmm. actually game together. But uh, lately, their kids have been staying up all night long and then sleeping all day. I'm not sure when this podcast will air, but we're recording it just at the end of summer here and we're in the middle of COVID. So obviously that's part of the issue. There's Mm -hmm. not the same structure that we have, but we also know that families uh, during school year struggle with this all the time. And we've even heard of parents who have discovered their five-year-old or six-year-old up in the early, early hours of the morning, let's say five, six a.m., and they're sitting in front of the console or in front of the, the monitor playing video games and discovered that, oh, mommy, I couldn't sleep. I've been doing this all night long. So, oh my gosh. Uh, so yeah. the question is, what do I do if my kids are up all night? So just my quick answer to that is set parameters. And you're like, uh, Marilyn, no duh, right? Like, obviously, <laughs> if I could just do that, I would. But how do you get this teenager to actually do this? So I recently answered uh, uh, this question. It was actually about YouTube, but I think it applies here. And I'm going to go to ABCs of, of doing this. And we always say at Media Savvy Moms, like we don't want to make ourselves the enemy of tech. So the A is for agreement. So find a time to sit down with your kids and or your child and come to an agreement of what what your concerns are and if you share any concerns like are they concerned about their health if they're an older child like talk to them about the need for sleep and health and and their growth and development if you have to you know take them to your pediatrician and maybe have him or her say a few words on a little clout (laughs) (laughs) exactly but there's like that's a red flag to be up all night as a kid and then once you have some basic agreement, then work together to set some boundaries. And then C, so B is for boundaries, and then C is for the consequences. And when I say consequences, these could be natural or imposed consequences. So natural consequences, you're up all night, you can't function the next day, right? And imposed consequences, they could be positive or negative. So work together, like you could have a kind of a, a schedule or a checklist of how many nights you, you, if you were working with an older child, how many nights you can go and get some regular sleep. Um, I'm going to come back to some ideas, but I want first want to hear what your thoughts are on it, Melody. Yeah, I love this. I love the ABCs, agreement, boundaries, and consequences. That's a great way to deal with this um, beyond just set set parameters period right that's like uh the dorothy click your heels together click 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 like what we need (laughs) we need a little bit more of a game plan there right Uh um and that's what we're here for so yeah i it's funny because i'm admit i'm a little i'm a little bit of a gamer myself right Mm -hmm. um you know that we know that i talk about it on the air um i like to game with my kids too and um i think that gaming has changed a lot 
over the years. Like I talk about being a gamer like in 1995 at sleepovers with my friends when we were like trying to beat Donkey Kong Country until mm-hmm. like six in the morning once, right? But this is different. Like we're talking about gaming all night on these um, internet enabled devices, right? Mm-hmm. So that's another aspect of some of things that we need to think about is that when our kids are gaming all night, they're on these platforms that can access a lot more than just games. Yeah. They are being exposed to um, other live gamers, which was not a thing when I was gaming growing up. Um, so there are people all over the world. Um, who either can be live chatting um, with text or they can be speaking into their headphones with like real people. Um, And that can introduce predators that can introduce um, all sorts of iffy situations, especially at two o'clock in the morning when maybe our frontal cortex is not operating, firing on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, There was a, an instance in our community where um, there was a girl who was involved with a guy online who flew all the way from Eastern Europe to meet her because they had been gaming together. It gets scary stuff happens, right? So bottom line, gaming till the middle of the night may not just mean gaming. Um, They can also access pornography through their gaming devices like Xbox and all all of these that can actually access the internet. So we got to think on that level too. Oh, I'm so glad you brought that up. It is not just a matter of sleep and sleep is so important to Mm -hmm. our children and to us as adults, but we are opening up a world of threats as soon as we like now, as you said, all gaming, almost all gaming is internet connected. Right. Mm -hmm. But we don't want to just focus on the problem and we don't like to be alarmist. We want to focus on what do I do is the question yeah. and what is the solution, right? So we always like to prevent you with a hands-on resource um, that you can go to for help. And this time our resource is gamequitters.com. Um, this is a great resource. It is a video game addiction support uh, for both gamers and loved ones. If you go to the site, um, you can click, um, I'm a loved one or I I'm a gamer. That. Gamers and loved ones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that that, that encompass, encompasses says, oh my gosh, us non-gamers. So thank you very much, gamequitters.com. <laughs> <laughs> well, some, of, some parents are gamers too, and some are loved ones who are just looking for like, help me, right? So um, yeah, click on the loved ones if you're a parent who's looking for for um, help. And actually next week on the podcast, we are ha- having Nadia Strider from, um, she's the programs director from gamequitters.com. She's going to come on the podcast and talk to us um, and answer our questions. So that's going to be awesome. I'm very excited about that. Absolutely. So our quote today is uh, from the book Irresistible, The Rise of Addictive technology and the business of keeping us hooked. And that is by Adam Atler. He notes that children are especially vulnerable to addiction because they lack the self-control that prevents many adults from developing addictive habits. And of course, that's why we're so cautious and we recognize these red flags. We're talking about children and developing brains. And so It might not seem that big a deal. Oh, my kid's up at night. It's just a game. Really, we encourage you to set these boundaries with your kids and create this safe, fun way to play video games. Absolutely. And our challenge for you today is to go to our podcast notes and download our free Quick Guide to Safer Screen Habits, which is a great way for you to get together as a family and to create some of these boundaries that we've been talking about um, together as a team so that you have buy-in from everybody in the family and create those safer screen habits, which have to do with everything we've been talking about, video games, pornography, um, all of those good things. 
We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Media Savvy Moms podcast. For detailed show notes and links to any of the resources mentioned today, visit parentsaware.info. To connect with us on social media, find us on Instagram at Media Savvy Moms and on Facebook and Twitter at Parents Aware. We would love to get your feedback. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a review wherever you listen to this podcast. Until next week, let's keep talking.